Are you okay? I'm sorry if I acted rash earlier. I have to admit, I was jealous of how Gareth was talking to you. Don't look at me like that. I'm sorry. Okay. I'd rather you glare at me than turn away. I'm not being difficult. I'm trying to be honest with you. I thought that was what you wanted. Why are you being like this? Have I really upset you that much? No? It's not me? Well, I don't know whether to feel relieved or even more concerned. I sense the feeling that you won't tell me what it is that's bothering you. That hurts. Honesty was supposed to be our thing, remember? Please tell me what's going on. I don't want to beg you, but you realize what situation this puts me in. If you can't trust me after all this time, what kind of person am I? The kind that still gets jealous. Ha! Ouch! I really thought we were over that. You've been... cold to me. These past few days. And somehow that ginger idiot had managed to make you laugh. What? You weren't laughing because of him. I don't understand what you mean. Gareth had brought up that moment in class when I almost slipped over Imelda's potion she dropped. You weren't laughing because of him. You were laughing, remembering the memories you had with me. That's very adorable of you. I had to admit, half the reason Gareth riled me up so much is because his jokes are completely terrible. I couldn't understand why you looked so happy with him. But you were really thinking about me. I guess I owe Gareth an apology. Ah, I'll make him wait for one. The way his face changes when he's expecting my apology and I don't give it to him, it's quite hilarious. I am not nasty. No, I'm not. Besides, you fell in love with me. Says more about you than it does about me. Yes, yes it does. It does. Okay, okay. But it does. Haha. <laughs> I rile you up because I know I'm going to get a guaranteed smile. And I get one. Every time. Are you tired? Here, allow me to be your personal chaise lounge. My humour is not broken. Perhaps I'd be more witty if I knew what was bothering you. Yes, I'm on that again. Don't expect me to put the matter down until I have an answer. You know I can be very persuasive. You'll fall asleep before I can convince you? Ha, ah, I must be comfy to lean against if you're so sure of that. I thought so. Is it something to do with your family? Well, sorry, but if you're not going to tell me, I'm going to start guessing. Ominous? I know he's as harmless as a fly, but you haven't seen the bite that guy can have on him. Oh, you'd be surprised. He's made quite a few girls cry. Of course. Then he starts apologizing profusely and the entire mess resolves itself after Sebastian comes to ease the tension. You didn't say yes or no to the family thing. That's a no then. I know I'm supposed to be keeping this quiet, but is it the ancient magic? You say no, but your body just tensed so much it practically screamed a yes. You're right. If you won't give me an answer, there's no point in blindly guessing. I'm going to assume it's the magic for now, and ask you, as the gentleman I am, what I can do to help you. Of course. I made a promise to support you, did I not? After you helped keep my secret, I promised I would forever keep yours, and help you with it, to the best of my abilities. After all, we both have the same issue. We were stupid enough to take in magic too powerful for us to handle. Mine has already spiralled out of control, and I can't help feeling certain that yours will too. Hey, I thought I had it under control too, remember? I'm not saying that. I truly hope it won't be the same. But you have to understand my worry, especially when you act like this, and I'm not sure whether it's that magic inside you trying to take over. Yes, I know. It can't do that. But frankly... I don't want to risk it. Be honest with me, you don't even know what that magic can do. Aside from the surface level that the Keepers showed you, 
You're just as clueless about this as I am, and I'm not the one who sucked it inside them without a second thought. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I just... I'm worried about you. Surely you can see that. I know. I appreciate that you're trying to comfort me. But when I know you're keeping something from me, it kind of takes away the point. Just promise me you'll be careful. Or better yet, as soon as you get the inkling that you want to tell me, do it. I just want to support you, like you supported me. I know. I love you too. Now I suggest you get comfortable, because I certainly am. Oh look, one of my favorite books perfectly placed under this couch. I suggest that if you want to fall asleep, do so quickly. I tend to mutter to myself past chapter 6. Stuff gets wild. <laughs>